Hi, Matt Solomon here with another Science of Sport book review. Today, I'm going to be bringing you one of the big hitters in strength and conditioning, High Performance Training for Sport by David Joyce and Dan Lewington. The goal of the book is to provide a resource which is both highly applied and scientifically backed. And to do this, the editors bring together 30 authors for 24 different chapters on their area of expertise. These 24 chapters are divided into three sections, and if I was to roughly define them, it would be the fundamentals, enhancing athletic performance, and program design. Overall, these chapters bring together sports science and strength and conditioning, but I would say the book leans towards strength and conditioning overall. So let's talk about the real positives of the book. For me, number one, the book is written by a who's who of strength and conditioning coaches and sports scientists. I think that the experience that these guys offer is unlikely to be matched in any book in the near future, which makes this book an invaluable resource for any high performance coach. Not only does the book contain great scientific information, it backs this scientific information up with training programs. These training programs provide great examples of how you can use the scientific principles in your own training. The beauty of this is that it stimulates your own thoughts. Personally, I found myself putting the book down and having a think about how I could apply this information to my own athletes and their training programs. So if you're anything like me, make sure that you've got a notepad with you when you start reading the book. And lastly, the book reads really well. For a book which is brought together from 30 different authors across 24 chapters, I think the way that the book flows is a credit to the editors. In terms of improvement, it's difficult to find areas that can be significantly improved. However, I would look to the layout. The layout is overall of really high quality. You can see text boxes, pictures, words of wisdom and graphs. However, some chapters have larger blocks of text and these larger blocks of text can be a bit of a grind to get through. So if you come across one of those, my recommendation is to crack the kettle on. Because of the breadth of the book, some depth has to be sacrificed. As an example, Franz Bosch writes a chapter in the book, however he has an entire book dedicated to his theories and concepts. This said, there's enough depth to keep any strength and conditioning coach happy. And if you need more, the book is really well referenced and you can follow the breadcrumbs. Overall, this is a really high quality book which deserves its place on the shelf of any sports scientist or strength and conditioning coach. Therefore, I'm gonna give an excellent match rating of four and a half out of five, and I would thoroughly recommend it to anybody who wants to improve their athletes physically. So to recap our review of high performance training for sport, we went through what the book is about, who it's for, the positives and negatives, and whether we recommend it. If you're a high performance practitioner, the chances are you're continually looking to get better. And this can be difficult because there's so much new information brought out every month. Luckily, Science of Sport brings all of this information together and gives you a chance to stay on top of it. So if you want to stay ahead of the game, make sure you hit subscribe now. And one last question. What do you want to see reviewed? It could be anything in the world of sports science. Let us know in the comments below.